Hey there YouTubers, unboxing video time. This should be another water cooler. Um, I think it's a 280 ID cooling though. So we've been buying a lot of Arctic liquid freezer stuff lately. And this is a different brand. Probably a, well obviously a cheaper brand and potentially not as good of a brand. Wow. I gotta get this monitor out of here before it gets knocked over. Alright, so we will uh, plan on using this at some point with the i9 folks. Just so you know, the i9-13900KF. I'm not sure this is really up to the job, but it looks, uh, you know, the, the packaging looks spectacular um let's see what it says here advanced pump design superb cooling performance big air pressure fan design stylish premium sleeve tubing universal compatibility and easy installation so this is supposed to fit lga 1700 let's hope this is not another one where i'm emailing the manufacturer it says 1700 right there 1700 1200 1150 2066 amd am4 uh, good. So I won't be contacting the manufacturer to say, hey, you didn't include this. It says on Amazon you're supposed to have it. Blah, 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 right? Uh, fans included too. So they're going to be 140 millimeter. LED lighting, white LED, hydraulic bearing. So let's go ahead and get it open. Now we have previously used, i to figure out how to get it open. The, uh, what have we used? We've previously used the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2, 280, and a 420 on the i9. Both did uh, really well. Uh, some of that, I think, had to do with the motherboard, oddly enough. I have some other Z690s with the i7 did not perform very well. So this looks, you know, easy enough to install, right? At least to the CPU portion. Putting it in the case can be another story. All right. Let us get all the parts out and then we'll take a look at everything. And that monitor behind me, folks, is just raring to get knocked over. Because I'm being super careless. Alright. So. Since most of you won't watch more than 2 minutes and 30 seconds of this video, let's go ahead and get this out. I am hopeful this does a good job and that we... Do not feel like it needs to be returned. A uh, huge difference, folks, in the size of this radiator and the 420. Uh, let's just grab that so you guys can see. You know, expectations right off the bat tell me that this is not going to do that great a job. So even the 280 was uh by our, this is the arctic liquid freezer 2 420 even the 280 and i think the 360 are all this thickness which is way thicker than that right um does that mean a lot well i think i think it does there's got to be a lot more volume in there uh who knows how the fans will do in comparison but yes huge size difference this may not be up to an i9 13900KF. It may be adequate for an i9-12900, which is a lock CPU and, you know, a little bit lame in comparison to uh, the i9-13900KF. So you will take this off, of course, before assembling. You know, overall, uh, it, looks, it looks okay. I'm not going to say it looks, you know, incredible, but 
So you've got this extension cable to plug this in to SATA power. Uh, looks like a four pin here. So I don't know why they didn't just give you, if you needed it, a four pin extender. Actually, that, that might only be three pins. Um, I have to get my glasses on, but. So, all right, let's move that out of the way. Fans, check out the fans. And the box probably said what the RPMs were. And let's see if we take a look at this. DC brushless fan, 12 volt, 0.3 amps. So 140 millimeter fan. Uh, I don't see the RPMs on there, but ID Cooling, you know, honestly, not a bad brand. I bought a lot of their stuff. You've probably seen it on the channel because Lord knows you guys can't watch uh, Lioness and Steve all the time, right? Because they are building stuff with really expensive equipment and stuff most of us can't afford. Uh, so somehow you end up on the budget channels like this one. All right. So, thank God. I don't know if this is the LGA 1700 one, but this is reason enough just to buy this, folks. Um, you know, they couldn't do what, um, what Noctua does, but... Uh, where these are locked, but these actually slide, right? So this this is how they, you know, make this compatible with more than one size. So if it's on the inside, I would say it's probably LGA 1200. If you go to the outside, it's probably uh, LGA 1700. 1200 on the inside, 1151, and then out, all the way out should be um, 1700. So different brackets in here. This will uh, attach somewhere on here. Yeah, like that, right? You got some washers in here. Either washers or spacers. Um, rubber or plastic spacers there. Those will fit on here most likely. Different sizes of them, so... Um, one may be an AM, AMD, AMD kit, IX3, it does not say on it whether it's AMD. Um, so this is for the fans, the two fans will plug into this and then this will plug into the motherboard so they're all running at one speed and then various sets of screws folks. I will, like I said, do, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but at some point in the future, we will install this. We will see how it does, and I do hope that it's up to the task with the i9-13900KF. Um, I may do, honestly, the i5. Well, that's probably a better, better spot for this. They did include uh, ID cooling paste. We'll check that to the side and use that eventually. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.